What's up everyone? Today we'll be beating Spillway on Chimps and to start off we'll place a ninja in the dead center and get this guy to a 0 0 one uh, Seeking shurikens allows him to beat round 8 by himself and then we'll upgrade him into a 2 0 one ninja monkey. So here I'm saving up for a Mortar Monkey, which is amazing on this map, but later in this run I found out that Pat Fusty can hit through the wall, so it might be worth experimenting with placing Pat down right now instead of the Mortar, but doing it this way works just fine, so we are going to upgrade our Mortar into a 3-2-0 as quickly as we can. Now that we have our 320 mortar, we are going to go back to the ninja and get it to a 401 balloon jitsu. Next up, we're going to place down Pat in the bottom puddle as far up as possible. And this is where I found out that he can hit through the wall, which is pretty neat. But after this, we're going to remove the obstacle since we are going to place down subs here that need to be able to shoot through the opening. Uh, so now we're going to place down a submarine and get it to a 2-0-3. So round 40, I got a lucky backtrack on the blimp, but you don't need it. My first run, I did not get it, and it worked fine. But if you guys are nervous, you can always use Pat's Roar. But after we get the 203 submarine, we are going to place an alchemist just to the right of the mortar and get it to a 402. Next up, we are going to upgrade our mortar into a 420, and this is really where it starts to take over as its explosion will be able to hit the entire center. And since the balloons wrap around basically twice, it has so much time to pop them, it's incredible. Now we're going to place a monkey village just to the right of the alchemist and get it to a 2-2-0 so that all of our towers will be able to attack faster and have camo detection. And then we'll go back to the mortar monkey and get it to a 5-2-0, the biggest one. And it will just tear apart ceramics or really anything that enters the center.
Now that we have the biggest one, we are going to upgrade our monkey sub into a 204 and then our monkey village into a 230 just so that all of our towers can pop any type of balloon. With the towers we have right now, we are set for a while, so we are going to save up and get our monkey submarine into a 205 sub commander. So now that we have our sub commander, we are going to squeeze in as many subs as we can in the bottom puddle that are affected by both the monkey village and the sub commander and get them to 0 3 twos. Uh, The buffs to the ballistic missile getting affected by the sub commander along with the attack speed buff of the bottom path makes these guys incredibly powerful, especially for the uh, 85 to 100 rounds, which is exactly when we need them. So. Now that we have those subs, we are going to place down a glue gunner. And I found if you put them to the as far as right as you can, while it's still being affected by the village, it can see into the center. And we're going to get this guy into a 0-1-3 glue gunner. Now, this is primarily for the DDTs that will be heading our way. And it will be able to slow them down to a reasonable speed. Um, and then we are also going to set the glue gunner to strong. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but directly after this, we're going to place down a sniper monkey and get it to a 402. We'll be placing the sniper right next to the glue gunner so that it's affected by the monkey village and can see into the, uh, the center there. It can actually see all the way out the other side, which is amazing. But we're going to get this guy into a 402 and set it to strong just so that it'll slow any mob class balloons, especially DDTs, later on. Now that we have our sniper upgraded, we are going to place an alchemist to the left of the uh, mortar, hopefully still in range of the monkey village, but it's not too important. And we're going to get this guy into a 402. This is primarily so that we can keep the biggest one uh, permanently buffed since it is our main damage dealer along with the sub commander, but the uh, biggest one is easier to keep buffed constantly. But as you can see, even round 93, we are just destroying the DDTs before even one revolution. 
Now that we have finished that alchemist, we are going to place another alchemist uh, to the left of the left puddle. Uh, we want this guy far enough right so that it can see inside the center just barely, and we're going to get him into a 0, 3, 2. This is just because the next real threat to us is round 98, and a 0, 3, 2 alchemist makes round 98 much easier. Uh, one thing, we're going to set this guy to strong targeting priority as well. So now the only hard round left that we are a little frightened for is round 100. And to deal with that, we are going to upgrade one of our submarines into a 042 so that we can use the first strike ability on the bad as it enters. And this just makes it a lot easier to deal with and our center is plenty capable of dealing with it once the first strike goes off. So that is what we're saving up for right now. We're going to get, I believe it is our middle left sub into a 042. I just chose this because it has two alchemists next to it, but I'm pretty sure you can choose any of them. So here we are going to have a bit of extra cash, so I decided to place down a wizard monkey just to the right of the monkey village and get it to a 401 just for some extra damage throughout the run. On top of this, I also used Pat's big squeeze on one of the fortified ZOMGs. Uh, probably not needed, but I figured since there are only two of them and we have plenty of time, mine as well use it. Um, here I used the first strike ability just because I had never used anything but a bad and I wanted to see what it would do. Also not needed, and then I also used the roar in the middle of round 98 as well, and this just gave us uh, extra attack speed to deal with that round as it is one of the tougher ones. But the second first strike is back up, use it on the bad, and then use roar once everything is in range, and you should easily handle the bad in round 100. But that is all I have for you guys today, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.